when we talk about rolling up, we're talking about taking an existing option or set of options and moving them up in strike price while remaining in the same expiration. In this example, we have a long February 105 call that will roll up to the 115 strike price. In this case, this trade will be done for a credit, so we show it here in green. To do this, the actual trade that we'll need to execute is to sell to close the February 105 call while simultaneously buying to open the February 115 call. Notice how the adjustment trade is actually the equivalent of selling a call spread, but this is not our actual objective, which is to close the existing long February 105 call while at the same time opening a new long February 115 call position. Conceptually, we can see this as if the long 105 call was rolled up to the 115 strike price, but in reality, we know that we closed that leg and opened up a new long call at the 115 strike price, all for a credit. For our next example, we have a short February 105 call that is currently on for a credit of 150 that will be rolled up to the 115 strike price. This trade will be done for a debit since we're actually reducing our risk and that implies a net cost to our position. To do this, we will need an adjustment trade that will both buy to close the existing short 105 call while simultaneously selling to open the 115 call for that same expiration. Much like our last example, on its own, this adjustment trade will mean that we're buying a call spread, but in reality, we want to close out our existing short 105 call while opening a new short 115 call position. Conceptually, this would be the same as moving up our original short 105 call to the 115 strike price for a debit, and this is how we will refer to this trade going forward when analyzing how we manage options positions. We can now recap what we've learned in this section about adjustment trades by going through an example of each one of the seven types of adjustment trades we've analyzed. We added a long put to a long call, turning it into a strangle. We also removed the long call leg from a long strangle, leaving us with a long put. We rolled up a long call to a higher strike price in the same expiration. We also rolled down a short put to a lower strike price in the same expiration. We also saw a short put rolled out to the next expiration. Then we rolled the short put up in strike price and out in time, after which we also rolled the long call down in strike price and out in time. These are the tools we'll be using to manage our options positions going forward by making use of each one of these trades to adjust existing positions into more advantageous ones.